It's called Europe's biggest battery, Norway's vast lake Blasio pooling over the country's stunning snow-capped mountains, stretching deep into the fjords that feed it. Water power is the fuel for Norwegian life. And in 2021, it'll help to fuel British life as well. Why does the UK need to do this in Norway? Can't we just use our own hydropower? Well, we don't really have hydropower. We have little bits of it in North Wales, little bits in Scotland. But here in Norway, they're blessed with an abundance of good, clean, green energy. So the objective of North Sea Link is to lay two cables under the sea and tap into that lovely power. The North Sea Link is made up of two 450-mile cables buried 600 metres beneath the sea. It'll deliver power when there's a sudden spike in customer demand or a fall in either country's wind or water resources. It brings a new source of energy to the UK and because Norway has so much hydro, it'll be pretty much base load power. It'll pretty much run 24-7 the whole time. Sometimes, when we have a surplus of wind in the UK, we can export that wind to Norway as well. So I think the main advantage of the interconnector is it'll facilitate um, a green world. Renewables on both sides, here and in Norway, will be able to run to the maximum effect. The fjords here in Norway are easily as deep as the mountains are high. And when this interconnector is switched on, the majority of electricity will be sent from Norway into the UK. But when Britain increases its wind power, that relationship will be far more equal, meaning each country will be plugged in to the other's power supply. And this is where Norway captures its water power. It's called Electric Mountain. Deep inside is Europe's biggest hydropower plant. In 2017, miles of mountainside was blasted through to build a tunnel for the cables to reach the North Sea. Engineers launched three explosions a day for 18 months. It was overseen by Tjörn Neumendal, project director here in Norway. We're standing on the side of Electric Mountain. 700 metres beneath our feet are the generators. The people working on, on this project, including myself, feels like we are uh, doing something important. And uh, that, of course, relates to the climate change. So we feel that, uh, you know, uh, we are doing something for our children and grandchildren as well. So why plug into Northumberland when Norway is so rich in natural resource? A good reason for that is uh, the, big, the, the great match between hydropower and wind power. Because, of course, uh, uh, wind power is great, but when it doesn't blow, it's not that great. But then we have the hydropower to support the system in the UK. So it's kind of a, a match made in heaven. So what happens if the wind doesn't blow in Northumberland and the rain doesn't fall here in Norway? Will both countries have <laughs> reduced power? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a very unlikely situation. The likelihood of that happening at all is, is very, very low, almost insignificant. So I don't think yeah, we should lose sleep over that. The final two miles of mountain tunnel are finally complete, where the interconnector will snake its way into the North Sea. But the tunnel is here just for maintenance because it's on either side of this trough where the two cables will be laid. They're only 14 centimetres wide, but they'll be concreted in and carry the electricity that way to Norway and that way to Northumberland. So what about bills? Can we expect to see a reduction in how much we pay for electricity because of this? Well, well the hydro capability here is quite cheap. And because we're exporting quite cheap energy into the UK, we can expect to see uh, the wholesale prices of the UK uh, downward pressure on those wholesale prices. Do Norwegian customers living close to this site welcome the new UK link? Of course it is, because then we can share what we have. And it is a really, really big issue that we have to go much greener in the world. We are fortunate to have uh, this uh, uh, water power and now we will gain even more and if it can benefit uh, two countries it's uh, it's a win-win situation. It would be a good option 
to uh, get as much energy as possible and share it. So this could just be the start? Yeah. But as we prepare to leave the EU, will Brexit impact the project? We don't see any major challenges. Operational phase, we just have to adapt and we already have contingency systems in place to tackle that. Uh, what's absolutely sure is that international cooperation is, is, uh, is the key in reducing the climate problem. And uh, whether that is outside or inside the EU, that's really not the most important thing. The most important thing is that we're doing what we're doing. A solution shared with our North Sea neighbours in this beautiful country. Electricity that won't cost the earth.